So with the reveal of Banjo-Kazooie officially coming back to Super Smash Bros. as a DLC character, the creators of Banjo-Kazooie have spoken out about not only Banjo's return, but the possible future of the franchise. Let's discuss what they said right now. A quick shout out to GFT Theorist. This is a fan art of Metal Duckles that they drew for me. And as you can see here, Metal Duckles is just being his regular badass self, stepping on the head of his minions. <laughs> so this is really awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Anyway, hello dear beautiful human. My name is Ryder CX and today I've got a bit of a different video from what I usually cover, but it's only because I think this is something that's really important that if anyone that's at all interested in Banjo Kazooie or collective thoughts in general should definitely pay attention to. And so as you all know, Banjo-Kazooie was reviewed yesterday as the next Smash DLC. Well not really because there's some random guy from Dragon Quest that's next, but he will be coming in the fall and yeah, he's looking really badass. I'm showing some footage of it right now and it looks absolutely amazing and yeah, you don't need me to tell you how amazing this is, but what you did come here for is what the apparent creators of Banjo-Kazooie have to say about this. And so I actually stumbled upon this article yesterday from a website called VGC and they basically basically actually had direct quotes from two of the creators of Banjo-Kazooie over here. One is like an art designer of Banjo-Kazooie, I think his name is Steve Mayos, and that's definitely not how you see his last name, but the other one is the composer, Grant Kirkhope, who actually composed the track that's going to be used in Banjo-Kazooie's level in Super Smash Bros. Banjo, Kazooie, we're home. <laughs> That's really, really awesome. And so I just wanted to highlight a few of the things that they said in this article because it not only points to what they think about Banjo-Kazooie coming back, but also the future of Banjo-Kazooie as a franchise. And I think this is definitely something very interesting, especially for people who want Banjo-Kazooie to come back in full form, you know, where it'd be like a brand new game or even just having a remake of the old game. So first, let's go over Steve Myles, who was the person that created the design of Banjo-Kazooie. So here are some of the quotes that he said. It's wonderful to see Banjo Andrew Kazooie returned after 11 years in gaming wilderness and back to the spiritual home on a Nintendo console no less, said Miles. I'm really pleased for all the passionate Banjo fans who never lost faith that their heroes would one day come back. The duo are a great fit for Smash Ultimate. I can't wait to make them rat up tap rap Sonic in the face and take that hedgehog boy. Oof, this hurts me as a Sonic fan. <laughs> then Miles joked that now he has two characters in Smash Bros. Ultimate. He also created Donkey Kong's K. Rool. Dixie Kong is next. I mean, yeah, that might be a possibility. And so it's really awesome to see that he's really excited to see that Banjo is back in full form as a Smash DLC fighter. And Grant Kirkhope, the composer of Banjo-Kazooie, had some comments about how he was approached by Nintendo to make this track and how he figured out that it was for Banjo-Kazooie. Veteran former Rare composer Kirkhope has created a brand new music track for Smash Bros. Ultimate. With Nintendo's composers handling further Banjo remixes, he is now one of the first Western composers to create music for Smash Brothers, as well as Super Mario with Mario and Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. Yeah, that's really impressive. Kirk Hope revealed that Mario Rabbit's creative director, David Soniani, <laughs> actually played a part in securing his role in the Banjo Kazooie DLC. In about January this year, I received a message from David Soniani, I cannot say his last name, the creative director of Mario Rabbit's, who said Nintendo were asking for my contact information. Kirkhope explained. He said, can I pass it on to them? And I was like, too right. I think it was Nintendo's idea that they wanted the original composer, he added. This had been going on long before they talked to me and they must have been talking to Rare back at the end of last year. And the rest is history as you can see, he made the track for Banjo-Kazooie's track in the game and this is a snippet of what it sounds like if you were curious.
So yeah, that sounds amazing. It sounds very Banjo-esque, and yeah, we should be really excited. I can't wait for this DLC to come out in fall. Now, here's the real meat of this video that I really wanted to focus on, and there's pretty much the reason I wanted to make this video. Kirkhope actually goes on to talk about the possibilities of a brand new Banjo-Kazooie game, and I'll tell you right now, it may not look that positive, but wait till the end where I explain what this could still mean and why this is still important. Kirkhope told VGC that he didn't think a new Banjo-Kazooie game would happen anytime soon. I don't think Rare has the appetite for it, he said. I don't think they believe it would sell, and even in my mind, I'm not sure. It's easy to get wrapped up in my Twitter feed, but that's just a tiny audience in comparison. If they did want to make a new one, that they'd never get the original team back together, so it'd all depend on who they asked to do it. They'd have to find the right people to do it. Ubisoft Milan were perfect for Mario, for example, and the Killer Instinct guys did a good job. And so, if there is a Banjo-Kazooie game in the works, then it doesn't look like Kirkhope is a part of it, which is disappointing to say the least. But there's a very key thing I want to point out in his comments about this. He said, it's easy to get wrapped up in my Twitter feed, but that's just a tiny audience in comparison. So let's go over to Twitter actually, because I do know that Rare posted a tweet about the review of Banjo in Smash Brothers and see how many people exactly have responded to that tweet. As of now of making this video, this tweet that Rare posted about Banjo and Kazooie being in Smash Brothers has 20,000 retweets and 69,000 likes. But if you look throughout the rest of their Twitter page, the comparison is very little. Like everything else on their Twitter page has like at most a thousand likes. So this is a really clear indication of how interested people are in Banjo Kazooie, at least compared to whatever else Rare might be working on. Anyway, what I wanted to say with this is that there's just been so much demand and outcry for Banjo Kazooie to become back I mean there's definitely a demand for it and if this is the demand for Banjo Kazooie then I can only imagine what the response would be like if he were to actually like have a brand new game I found the Super Smash Bros trailer for Banjo Kazooie's review uploaded by this YouTube channel named Game Explained I'm pretty sure everyone knows what channel that is and it's sitting right now at 636,000 views after only being uploaded just today and what's really astounding in particular is that the Banjo Kazooie trailer has three times the view of the Breath of the Wild sequel review trailer and you know what Breath of the Wild is pretty huge like that's pretty huge news so you know what this tells me that like Banjo Kazooie there's a huge market for them to return I think we're in the era of seeing all these big platforming icons come back I mean the Spongebob Battle Bikini Bottom remake for example that's gotten a huge response Spyro and Crash basically started this trend and yeah I think there is an audience for it so if Kirkhope is questioning whether or not people would be interested in a revival of Banjo Kazooie. <laughs> Banjo! Holy oh my god! Yeah! Yeah! Oh my god, it's Banjo! <laughs> oh sh! <laughs> they did it! Oh, oh my wait, no! Why? No way! No, no, no freaking is. way! Yeah, baby! Banjo is here! I think it's pretty safe to say that people would be. I actually went to my community tab and asked people about what they would think of a Banjo-Kazooie revival. And this was before we found out that it was going to be a Smash DLC. So here are some of the things that people said. I hope it's a Banjo-Kazooie reboot, not a remake, because a reboot would make for good learning experience for the developers at Rare. Most people at Rare never made a Banjo game before. Also, it could be a great way to introduce Banjo-Kazooie to a new generation. I don't really think so. Even if he did, it would be really bad, but considering Nintendo and Microsoft are getting closer together, it can be really great. I would love Banjo to come back in some form Smash Brothers, a remaster, or even Banjo 3, but I just want him to return just how Spyro and Crash did. I'm a huge fan of Banjo Kazooie. I actually got Banjo 2 recently and I'm enjoying it so far. So yeah, it would be cool if we got a real Banjo 3. I think it is practically inevitable for the series to return at some point soon with all of the new information on it. I'm a huge Banjo fan. I love the old Nintendo mascot and I want him and Kazooie back. I think Banjo Kazooie should come back. The game is a classic and it has many fans. I'm worried if Microsoft will allow it to happen though. I remembered renting it way back when. Unfortunately, I didn't play enough of Banjo as much as I probably would have liked and fascinated how much of a following he has with gamers over time. If we ever had to get a Microsoft rep for Smash Ultimate, he's definitely a character I would be happy to see. I don't even have as strong of a bond, but even I know he's that special click icon. Something is happening for him. Gamers are serious and are allowed for his return in some capacity. You'll get nuts and bolts too and like it. 
oh, okay, Sonic HQ. <laughs> this is just a fraction of the comments that I got for this post. I got like, if you include like the Twitter comments I got, there are like 50-ish comments I got about Banjo-Kazooie revival. And I've never made a Banjo video before. So it just kind of goes to show you that like people want Banjo to come back. Now me personally, I unfortunately have never had the chance to play a Banjo game, but I am very well aware of the impact Banjo has had on gaming. And one of my favorite giants of games are Collectathons. I love playing Collectathons. They were a big part of my childhood. I mean, one of my favorite games of all time is a Collectathon. And I know that Banjo Kazooie is one of those games that really mapped out how these games should be played, how they should be designed, and how much should be put into them. And so I would love, love, love the chance to be able to experience Banjo Kazooie for the first time. And that's why I'm really in support of this. I really want people to show the support for Banjo Kazooie just so Microsoft and Rare can see how much people want Banjo Kazooie to come back. And I think the way you can support it is to continue asking for it online. Just do things that show people that there is a market here. There is a group of people that want Banjo Kazooie to come back. And the only way for that to happen is to show that you want it yourself. And yeah, that's all I gotta say. So I don't know if a game is in development. If it is, then I don't think the original people that made Banjo Kazooie are involved in it, which is definitely saddening if true. But if it isn't a thing yet, or if it is a thing, and they can still get original people on board or just like a really good team on board then we gotta keep growing support we gotta keep growing support at banjo kazooie we gotta show these big publishers that there is a market for this we are in a revival era of these icons and it is time for microsoft and rare to join in on the trend so yeah that's everything for this video thank you so much let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what do you think about the comments from the creators of banjo kazooie and what do you think about banjo kazooie being in smash brothers ultimate let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below i want to take a look at all of them and have a really great discussion with you all thank you so much please give this video a thumbs up if you like it subscribe to my channel if you like videos like these want to see more in the future follow me on twitter or twitch and join my discord server the spongy garden now this is riders riding out a quick shout out to my special duckies, Reese Gaming and Sodden Grinder. You would like to become a ducky, then please check out either my YouTube membership or my Patreon in the description box below. Thank you.